Yo, thanks for clicking. I'm gonna show you how to do screen recording with some face cam. Welcome back to another video, guys. My name is Jack. You probably know that by now, unless you're new here, in which case, if you are, I produce weekly content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. Subscribe now if any of that sounded interesting or anything that might suggest I might do as well, you know, video production content. If you're interested, subscribe. Basically, we're gonna be breaking down my way to do face cam. Now, I did a video the other day called how to shoot professional YouTube videos, and it kind of expanded on this as one of the ways that I shoot professional YouTube videos, but just to jump straight into it, I'm gonna be showing you a very simple way of how I do face cam with the screen record for, you know, free, basically. And all it involves is one camera, one tripod, one light source, and one free program. <laughs> I kind of forgot what I was saying for a second, but yeah, that's all you essentially need. We're going to be jumping into it. I got my computer and set it behind me. Without further ado, let me show you how we do it. Okay, so you can do this with two different camera types. You can do this with just the traditional camera, or you could do this, of course, with a webcam. It really just needs to be something that is, uh, you know, pointing in the direction of your face that, of course, you can uh, capture the video with. So if you've gone with the camera, I want you to set the camera up on a tripod overlooking, of course, you know, your desk chair where you're, you know, technically going to be sat in. And if you've gone with the webcam, go ahead and just plug it into your computer and set it up to be facing your chair and, uh, you know, overall your setup. Oh yeah, and of course, the light. The, the light is very important. Don't worry if you don't have one, you can do the face cam without, but it's definitely gonna be a much uh, you know, better quality image if you have a light source to light up your face cam. Trust me. Now I want you guys to go get yourself a program called OBS. It's 100% free, link down below. Go ahead and get it, install it, and it is going to be the free program that enables us to record our screens. All right, and now we're actually on the computer, okay? So this is what the program's gonna be looking like, OBS. It is recording this very screen, so it kinda just goes infinitely. And what you wanna do is, when you've downloaded it, you go up here to File, go to Settings, go to Output, and just go ahead and set the path where your footage is gonna be set to. And you wanna set the quality, which is gonna be high quality to medium file size, and of course the format, which I would suggest you put as MP4. Now, these are grayed out right now because obviously I'm already recording, so I can't change those uh, specifications since I'm already in the recording mode. But what you wanna be doing once you've actually, uh, you know, installed this program and set up either your webcam or your camera is the following. So for the camera, you wanna go ahead and just start recording, right? So we're recording on the camera, press record on the screen as well, and then obviously we haven't pressed the record at the same time, so they're out of sync. So what I do is I simply go into my program and I just do a verbal countdown and then a visual uh, kind of click, right? So what I'm gonna do is go one, two, three, and minimize the window. And then I'm gonna do that two more times just to be careful, just to make sure we're synced. So one, two, three, and then I'm gonna go back again and go one, two, three. And then in the video editor afterwards, I'm simply gonna line up where I say three and you can hear the click and where the window minimizes. So it essentially syncs the two files, the audio and the video, and that is how we sync it. However, if you're using a webcam, then it is simpler to do the syncing. And in fact, the program can do it all for us. And there are ways to make the camera sync up to the OBS, but I just haven't gone out of my way to do that. And I'm happy to sync it in the video editor. But if you're using the webcam in OBS, you just go to the plus, go to video capture device, press okay. And we're gonna select our life cam studio right there, which is instantly gonna pop up, which is the Microsoft Life, uh, Microsoft life cam studio webcam, press okay. And we have our webcam right there in the top, uh, you know, left, top, right, and we can go ahead and, you know, make this however big we want. We can make this all the way that big, or just kind of down like that, and we can also put it in the top, you know, right, the bottom right, the top left, the bottom left, basically wherever we want, even in the middle, and that is a much simpler way of doing the uh, st uh, doing the face cam, and in fact, obviously, with the with the, the the webcam, it's very easy to adjust. You know, I could just pull it down like that. The camera is over there. I'd have to kind of reach over there and you know tap it and stuff like that. Like it's not the most efficient uh, situation, but it's definitely far better quality than you're going to be experiencing on here. Uh, that's not really that debatable, to be honest. But there you go. There you have it. Um, you know, I'm going to actually go ahead and just remove the uh, face cam of the. <laughs> of the webcam, screw it, um, boom. 
there you go goodbye uh, thank you guys for watching the video if you've enjoyed this short tutorial on how to do the screen recording with the face cam then give me a like a comment and subscribe if you're not already and uh, definitely if I helped you out good I've achieved what I set out to do at the beginning of this video thanks for watching I'm gonna go around the corner and get some lunch and I'll see you guys in the next video probably after I finish my lunch <laughs>